UK sent RAF pilots to teach Chinese counterparts and allowed students to attend British military colleges. No fast jet flight or other sensitive training was provided to the Chinese Air Force, says the mod. However, a source says that Aviation English course was a misnomer and they believe more than English language got talked about. Britain's Ministry of Defence sent serving Royal Air Force pilots to China to teach a course to their Chinese counterparts, and allowed Chinese nationals to study at UK military colleges. Up to four frontline pilots took part in the Aviation English course in Beijing that ran in 2016. While at least three Chinese nationals have gone through basic officer training at the RAF's college at Cranwell in Lincolnshire. The most recent Chinese officer is thought to have attended the college in 2019, a time when the UK and its closest ally, the United States, under then-President Donald Trump, were increasingly concerned about security threats from China. A former senior British officer also told us that he had been aware in the past of a number of Chinese nationals who had studied at the Joint Services Command and Staff College at Shrivenham in Swindon, which caters for more senior military personnel from across the Army, Navy and Air Force. The joke was that they were always on the photocopier the whole time, the source said. A Ministry of Defence spokesperson said no fast jet flight training, or any other sensitive training, was ever provided to the People's Liberation Army Air Force. Earlier this month, the UK government revealed that around 30 former British military pilots were currently in China teaching the Chinese Air Force how to defeat Western warplanes, saying this activity posed a threat to UK and Western interests. The Ministry of Defence issued a threat alert to caution serving and former personnel against accepting such offers of employment. An official said they were urgently planning to change the law to make that kind of activity illegal. But the warnings prompted sources with knowledge of official government-to-government -government ties between the UK and China to point out that London had previously conducted its own defence training activities with Beijing. They said it was a bit odd to suddenly turn on this private initiative now, without providing the wider context. Especially as the former pilot's work had been declared to officials over many years without prompting such stark objections, even as recently as September of this year. So, on the one hand, the Ministry of Defence is happy to provide international defence training opportunities when the political agenda suits, but now will critique individuals for similar actions. One source said. I am not saying that justifies such a choice, but you can see that the narratives aren't quite consistent with what Ministry of Defence personnel are asked to do. I'm sure more than English language got talked about UK government policy on China was very different a decade ago. Then Prime Minister David Cameron sought to strengthen relations with China in what?